Hey guys, how are you? Hope you're well. Today I'm going to show you guys how to build shapes using Adobe Illustrator. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a uh, press print new document. If that ever loads, yep, press OK. Okay, so I've got a blank canvas at the moment. Now um, you could use the pen tool right here to build different shapes, but it's pretty difficult, pretty tricky to actually build shapes using the pen tool. So just say, for example, I wanted to build a shape a vector a graphic of a watering can. Um, rather than actually using the pen tool to go around the outline, what you can do is use shapes to actually create the watering can. So let's try the, this example. So okay, I'm gonna just draw a quick rectangle um, and I'm not going to be too perfect on it I'm um, just going to just to sh show you guys an example I'm just going to be as quick as possible um, so I'm just going to stretch that out a little bit so you can imagine that being the top um, I'm just going to zoom in and just stretch this out drop it down a little bit and then Control C, Control V, and make it curvature at the bottom as well. Um, so that's a fairly long one, but anyway, um, then maybe use the pen tool to actually draw the actual tip of the watering can, and then obviously draw another little circle. And it's not going to be perfect. This example is just really quickly show you guys. A, a sort of a way that this can be done um, so that's there and then you can imagine having like a, a curly handle so okay um, draw I'm gonna draw a shape and then I'm gonna draw another uh, circle within and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use this to make a print inside so what I've done is I've drawn two circles put one on top of the other I'm going to highlight over both of them and I'm going to use the Pathfinder panel which is right over here it's normally located inside um, over here somewhere but I've pulled it out if you can't find it click on window and then look for the Pathfinder um, which is this one right here so over here I'm going to just highlight the shapes and I'm going to press this minus from front and basically what that's done is sort of made like a moon crescent shape I'm just going to put that there but I want it to go behind um, arrange send to the back um, it's not brilliant to be honest it looks pretty hideous but just as an example uh, I think it's a good example so so I've drawn this uh, sort of outline of this watering can now I've got to actually create, make it so that it's one object what I'm going to do at this moment is highlight everything highlight the whole watering can and then click on this button right here shape builder tool and basically the way it, way it works is different objects are going to different parts of an object are going to be converted into one object so I'm going to click and I'm going to drag so this whole section is going to become one object so you can see how that's worked out I want this to part, be part of it and also this to be a part of it and I'm just going to click and I'm going to just drag the sections out so I want this to be one shape again and I want this to be one shape oops I'm just gonna control Z that because that's not what I wanted I want these two to be one shape and there you go and I'm pretty happy with that at the moment so you can see that's a sort of a, a watering can um, and then you can just go in there and add the colors so basically rather than using the pen tool going in there try and drawing out your watering can which could take forever um, you can use this shape building process to actually build a shape that you want something also which is pretty um, pretty useful to do is actually use the join and average paths uh, tool so say if I wanted to draw a love heart what I can do is I can just draw off the first side of it I'm going to stretch this section out um, just going to pull it a little bit because it's not come out the way I wanted it okay so um, I'm just going to press over here I'm going to press the rotate tool so I'm just going to press control C and control V again that's made a copy of that object and then I'm going to select it and press the uh, rotate tool 
and then I'm just going to rotate it. I'm just going to press preview and I'm going to rotate it by 180 degrees. So 180 and I'm just going to hit the OK button. Well, that's not what I wanted. Maybe I should do it by uh, 90 degrees. Hmm, interesting. Okay. I'm just going to rotate it by hand. And then I'm just going to stretch it across. Right? So, okay. So I've got this shape right here and it's not perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to use the direct selection tool. It's important that we use the direct selection tool. And I'm going to select over only the two lower anchor points. I'm going to press over here. I'm going to go into uh, object path and then I'm going to press average. And I'm going to do average vertically and horizontally. I'm going to press OK. So what that's done is it's found the average point between the two anchor points and basically just join them together they're not actually joined at the moment they've just been bought together I'm going to do the same for the top object path and you can see the shortcuts here control J and alt alt control J I'm just going to press average again and I'm going to do that again and same this now I'm going to actually join my paths so path and join and I'm going to join the top two anchor points again so edit sorry object path join so now this is one shape and you know you can go in there and stretch it out and and sort of adjust it the way you want okay so that's the base that's the actual biggest tip I can give you guys today is to actually make your objects and create vector shapes rather than actually drawing them out and, and worrying about making them look you know a certain way use the shapes you've got create different shapes and make them shapes together use the average and join tools and also use the pathfinder panel which has got you know a, quite a lot of shapes over here the unite tool so I'm just going to highlight everything and hit the unite button and you can see that's just given me made it into one object and that's actually just united everything so you know there's different ways you can also use the shape builder tool you can use use sorry the mirroring um, tools so where you can see the rotate tool so obviously make sure you get the degrees right so okay I hope you've enjoyed the, uh, the tutorial make sure you comment rate and subscribe make sure you actually hit the thumbs up button and subscribe take care and peace